Starbucks is overrated. We all know it, but won't admit it. It's pretty convenient to just go, order, get someone else to make a fancy coffee drink for you, right? The truth is you can make any Starbucks drink at home just as good or even better than they do and for a lot less money. I'll prove it to you. Hi, I'm Liz and I'm here to show you how to make Starbucks vanilla sweet cream cold brew and help you enjoy better coffee at home. Let's go. For the cold brew, you'll need three cups of filtered water and fresh coffee beans. I prefer a light roast for cold brew like this one, but fresh beans are the best beans, remember that. We'll make vanilla syrup from scratch. And for that, we'll need white sugar, hot water, and a whole vanilla bean or vanilla extract. I prefer the extract, it will make things quicker. And for the sweet cream, you'll grab heavy whipping cream, your homemade vanilla syrup, and your choice of milk. I'll use 2% milk for this one. All right, let's do this. And stay until the end, as I'll have my husband blind taste this drink against an actual Starbucks vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It look pretty much the same. To decide which is better. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of words. Step one, make your cold brew coffee. I like using a French press for my cold brews. It's inexpensive and the result is amazingly good. Mix one cup of coarsely ground light roasted beans with three cups of cold water and let it steep overnight. There's a link in the description to my cold brew at home tutorial and also some recommendations for coffee beans that will make this drink even more enjoyable. This recipe will give you enough coffee for about three glasses. Store your cold brew in nice bottles like this ones and let's jump to step two, making the vanilla syrup. This is pretty easy. Just mix half a cup of sugar, half a cup of boiling water and one tablespoon of vanilla extract and then stir or shake it well so it dissolves nicely. I love using mason jars for this. You can store it in the fridge for a month or two if you don't use it all right away. Step three is making the sweet cream. Mix half a cup of milk with two tablespoons of whipping cream, one tablespoon of your recently made vanilla syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You could mix this with a spoon, but I like giving it some texture, so I'll use a milk frother. If you don't have one, my recommended frother is in the description. Check it out. I suggest that you make the cream when your cold brew is ready because it won't hold its consistency and texture in the fridge. But as you just saw, it doesn't take long to make. Now comes the fun part. Add some ice to your favorite glass and start with two tablespoons of vanilla syrup as a base. Fill two thirds of the glass with refreshing cold brew and top it with the sweet cream. Doesn't it look amazing? It's nothing short of the Starbucks version. Let's try. It's actually so, so good. But I won't be the one to judge. My husband will take the plunge here and taste both drinks blindfolded. I'm expecting an objective verdict as he never drinks Starbucks coffee. And as he gets ready, I have a quick ask. If you're finding this video useful, show me some love by hitting like and subscribing to my channel because I'll be making more delicious coffee recipes so you can keep enjoying better coffee at home. I'm hating this already. I don't buy Starbucks. The only occasions where I go to Starbucks is if I get a gift card and I use it for pastries, breakfast muffins, and stuff like that. Okay, uh, let's do this. Okay, how's this called? Starbucks Vanilla Cold Venti Grande Cold Foam Macchiato Caramel Pumpkin Spice. Let me do this. So I'll start with left. Not my cup of tea. Mmm, nice. This one actually tastes like vanilla. Feels like it's like a blended, balanced drink. I don't feel that this is like a cold brew. It's just like iced coffee with milk. But yeah, I think this is the winner. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> they look pretty much the same. They add a lot of ice. It's already watered down. I don't like this kind of sweet coffee drinks, but this is something that you like, make it at home. This was $5.29. We're gonna add how much making this at home costs per cup, I'll put it here, like here. I already spent all my allowance on this. The secret to making this better than Starbucks is the cold brew. If you wanna elevate your experience, if you wanna make it better than Starbucks, just go and buy fresh beans and make your effort to make a good cold brew. Go watch my video about it first or go check out all my other cool coffee ideas. I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.